Louise. I'm here with Sangeeta today and we're going to talk about hair regrowth after treatment. So Sangeeta, when did you finish having your treatment? Um, I had chemotherapy which finished around March of this year. Okay. And then I, I'm continuing with um, an injection every three weeks. Okay, so we're looking about seven or eight months. Yes. So that's the, your hair length now, that's the hair growth. Yes. Okay, so normal hair growth is about half an inch a month. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it can be a little bit slower after, after treatment chemotherapy, mm -hmm. just because of the hair follicle. Mm -hmm. It's got damaged, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and then when it starts to um, reproduce again, mm -hmm. um, it can actually have a different shape to as it was before. Yep. So that's why your hair's probably grown back a bit curlier yes. than it was. Mine was uh, more or less straight to wavy. Um, I know I normally had it in a bob. Okay. But um, it's th when it grew back again, it yeah. was really curly, um, as you can see, and um, frizzy as well. Did you have difficulty with the hair being a little bit frizzy? Yes, I, um, I wake up in the mornings um, and my hair is normally sticking up. Now look across between Einstein and Ken Dodd. Oh but. gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so there's some products you can use. Yeah. Obviously there's anti-frizz serums, that kind of thing. Um, really good to perhaps use shampoos or conditions which are really gentle. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, with your scalp, it still might be a little bit irritable. Yeah. Okay. And also, did you notice the hair colour grew back differently? Uh, yes, I had a little bit of grey and I've been dyeing my hair for um, quite a while mm -hmm. um, but my I got quite sensitive even before I had the chemotherapy okay. to hair dyes so I started using um, a hair dye which was wheat based I think Okay, I've been fine with that yeah. but when it all grew back it was all white. It was all white. Yeah, it can grow back without pigment. Mm -hmm. Over time, as you sort of have more haircuts and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. sometimes it does go back to the colour it was before. But with all colouring at any time, it's always advisable to have a patch test yeah. to make sure that you're not going to have any allergy to it. Also, it'd be advisable not to colour hair between 6 and 12 months after your last chemotherapy treatment. Yeah. Um, it's better to wait till all those chemicals are, you know, gone from the body mm -hmm. and your body starts to uh, replenish as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me about anything? Um, well, sometimes I'd like to have my hair not quite as curly. Yeah. Um, I mean, can you straighten it? I mean, I've tried, I've got some straightening tongs, but um, really didn't do anything. Again, if you're using strong heat on it, you should mm -hmm. use a heat protector. But while the hair is still in its early stages of growth, I really wouldn't recommend strong heat on the hair. Um, and, and regards to straightening it chemically, I wouldn't advise that. Yeah, yeah again, it's like colouring, so you need to give your hair time to you know, get back to its normal state. Yes, okay. And what about when it's longer? So mm -hmm. once it's grown, okay. would you be able to... Absolutely, to because if you're, you're having it trimmed regularly as well, once you've probably got to about, you know, four to six inches of length, then you know, it's going to be so many months after, after your chemotherapy, so it should be back to normal by then. But again, with colouring or any sort of chemicals, have the patch test. Yeah. Okay, Great, thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks. Okay, Sangeeta, so you were saying you feel sometimes in the morning you get up and your hair's all sticking up all over the place. Yes. Um, there's a little spray you can use, like a texturising spray, so we could put a bit of that on for you now. Okay. And then I'm just going to spray your hair a little bit. So if you just put it through, that's a nice gentle product as well, so it'll help to relax the curl a bit. It's just little ways of dealing with it until the hair gets to a length and you can have your bob back again. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So did you feel perhaps when your hair started to grow back that you didn't really want to go to the hairdressers because you didn't want them to cut it all off again? Now it started to grow. Yes, it was. Um, I lost most of the hair from the top of my head. Okay. And, um, the, then I had it trimmed, so I was wearing wigs. So the hair loss wasn't equal it wasn't all equal. over the head. So I waited until the hair was starting to grow a bit. Um, okay. Saw my hairdresser then, and she trimmed it into a style. That's a good idea, to have it just trimmed into a style. Yeah. 
and it makes you feel like I've got my hair back again. Yes, and I didn't wear wigs after that because it looked tidy. It was it a nice. certain length yeah. and it was manageable. Yeah. That's brilliant. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. And uh, you take care of yourself. Thanks.